Hey guys, this is Erica from Celiac and the Beast. The reason why I'm being so quiet is I'm actually stuck at a coffee shop. Well, I'm not stuck here. I came here on my own accord. Um, they have amazing almond milk latte, so I'm having one. Um, and I just wanted to talk about a few things um, that have come up lately. Um, what are they? I don't even know. So I've been taking care of my mom, as you've probably seen. Um, she had shoulder surgery, and I am, for once, being a caregiver to someone other than myself, so that's pretty interesting. Um, but she's doing really well, and it's really nice to be on the other side, because I realize how much time and energy she put into me for all of my surgeries. So, kudos, Mom. I love you. You're great. Um, also, we're doing some upcoming reviews on some cool products. We did, uh, we baked the Crave Bake Shop Mixes um, from Kira. We love Kira. We love her Bake Shop Mixes. They're super rad. Um, we did the Snickerdoodle Cake Mix, and it was amazing. It went over really, really well um, for everyone that we had taste the mixes. So it's been pretty good um, with those, and we have to test the vanilla mixes. But other than that, it's been really good. Um, and then we have, we finally have ripened bananas, so we can do the EXO um, baking mix for the banana bread that we've been waiting eagerly for our bananas to ripen for, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, next, we have um, some events that Celiac and Abyss is going to, again, April 13th in Phoenix. We've got the Phoenix Gluten-Free Expo, so if you're in Phoenix, make sure that you buy your tickets for that. Also, Dr. Green is coming, and his book is amazing. Any new celiac needs to read it. So, um, Dr. Peter Green is coming, so if you go to the Expo, make sure you also buy tickets to see Dr. Peter Green, because he is amazing. Then April 6th in Miami, Florida, is the glutenfreecalendar.com event with special guests, um, Tammy Credicott, the paleo author, as well as um, Shannon Ford, Mrs. United States, and those are some pretty rad guests. Um, it's going to be a way cool expo before we do the uh, Miami Heat game, the Celebra Celebrate Celiac Community event, and then we all go see the Miami Heat game together, assuming that you purchase the tickets, because I believe it's sold out, because Miami Heat's amazing this year. So... If you're in Miami or Southern Florida, please, 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 please come to that event. It's going to be rad. Um, last thing I want to talk about, and I'm sure it's going to be something that I'll address um, via pen and paper, a.k.a. blogging, but there's been a lot of talk lately in the community about um, bullying. And, you know, I'm almost 30. My friend just came. He's going to say hi. Now he's on video. I'm filming a video. You can be a part of it. This is my friend Matt. Hello. Hi. Matt's over there if you want to go talk to him. I don't even recognize him. <laughs> He's our special guest. This is why I'm at the coffee shop because that's non GFPF's friend Matt. He's way cool. He's a supporter of Celiac and the Beast. He rocks. So that was his little guest appearance. So anyway, oh, what a bad topic for him to come right? Bully. I mean, he's totally supportive, which is the opposite of what bullying is. And I think that we all have had some form of bullying. You know, when we first got diagnosed and you have people that are like, oh, come on, just have a little bit. Or what can't you be here that's so dumb? Or like, celiac. Well, can you just have a little bit? Or, ugh, is that that diet that everyone's going gluten-free? That's so annoying. Like, the guy behind me in sauce that said, ugh, gluten-free is just a fad. It's just some marketing. Yeah, totally, dude. I wish, right? Um, so that's the kind of bullying that I guess I was used to. I mean, I didn't particularly have that, but I know that it happens a lot. Like, when you first get diagnosed or you're first telling your friends or you're in a new situation, fine. Like, I'm almost 30. I'm an adult. And yet, I still feel a lot of pressure from the community. Um, and, you know, I was on someone's blog, and they were being kind of rude. And, you know, I have had this happen to me lately where someone who is gluten-free but maybe a healthier diet and I don't want to blame paleo but I'm just saying that it happens a lot with paleo people and I love paleo I think it's awesome if it works for you that's super rad again but it's like any diet right if it works for you that's awesome like keep on keeping on and you can spread the message of your diet but dude don't tell me that what I'm doing is wrong and don't tell me that what I'm doing is going to make me fat or make me unhealthy or make me a bad person 
like we review as queer free bloggers. We review bread, we review cookies, toaster pastries. We review a lot of yummy things, right? But like I know that I have to be eating this in moderation, right? I can't eat a toaster pastry every morning for breakfast, or I can't eat ten cookies. I can have one cookie. I can eat in moderation. That's what life is for moderation and that's the only diet that I happen to believe in. But if I post about reviewing cookies or I post about reviewing bread and you give me some crap about dude this is why you feel like crap or this is why you are feeling so down. I'm like you don't know me. First of all, if you're only doing paleo or you're only doing a diet because you just want to lose weight or whatever, that's fine. But celiac to me is an autoimmune condition. So if I'm feeling bad, that doesn't necessarily mean that my unhealthy diet is the cause of it. Autoimmune, that means I can be subject to a horde of other autoimmune illnesses. I can have fatigue, I can have joint problems, I can have 300 other symptoms of celiac without it being related to the fact that I eat cookies when I want it. And you know, I'm going to talk about this at a different time, but for me, my past, it's very, very important to me to eat and to eat when I want to eat and eat what I want to eat without feeling guilt or shame about it. I have worked years to get to a point in my life where I can eat healthy without feeling guilty about it or have negative self-image. So when you come to me and you say that the way I'm eating or go to any other bloggers and say that the way they're eating is going to make them feel like crap, you don't know their backstory. You don't know who they are. You don't know where they've been. Unless you had a chance to walk in their shoes, please don't push your Whole 30 or paleo or anything on me. I know that I'm supposed to eat fruits and vegetables. I get it. And I do. I have a very, very healthy diet. But when you're just looking at me reviewing a cookie or reviewing bread or reviewing something that's heaven forbid a prepackaged good that the majority of America has to eat, and what our job is as bloggers is telling people what tastes good and what doesn't. Please don't lecture me about what I'm supposed to be eating or what I'm supposed to be doing for my diet. That is not fair. So that's my little two cents on the thing, and we're going to be talking about that later. But obviously I wanted to get it off my chest. I'm in a coffee shop, and I'm sure people are very irritated that I'm talking about bullying and celiac disease, and they just want to have their coffee. But it's something that was really important to me, and I needed to take a few days to calm down after I talked to some of my celiac friends with it that I've, you know, gone through the same thing. Just be cognizant of what you're saying online. You know, whether it's someone who doesn't need to eat gluten free and you're commenting about it, or if you have a very healthy diet and you, you know, comment about someone who's eating cookies, who's eating bread, heaven forbid, just to review it for other people, just be kind because I think that's what we all need to do. And don't judge people and just try, try to, try to understand kind of what other people are going through before you start judging them and blaming the way that I feel for my autoimmune disease based on what I eat. So that's my two cents. I love everyone. I think you're great. And people have special diets are, are excellent and cool. And if it works for you, if it makes you feel 100% better, then I think you need to do that. Because you do you, and I do me, and we'll all live in this world together. And I need to eat my, my chocolate bar and my almond milk latte. So thank you for listening to me on this rant. Um, hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.